This video will cover the entire administrative dashboard functionality. For specific sections, please see the timestamp links in the description. The administrative dashboard is where system administrators can utilize Figshare's administrative functionality, such as impersonating users, creating custom metadata fields, creating subgroups, and more. To access the administrative dashboard, click on the Profile drop-down menu and select Administration. The first page you'll see is the Group Structure page. This will give you an overview of the group structure at your institution. This page allows different levels of search and filters. The administrator can sort groups by name, number of projects, allocated quota, or available quota. The search term can be combined with the sorting options. Navigating between tabs will keep search and ordering results. The Users column presents the users assigned to that group in total, including inherited from subgroups, and number of users associated strictly to that group. The Projects column counts the group projects associated directly to that group. These are the projects that have the type set to group rather than individual. In the Storage column, the user can see the quota that's been allocated to subgroups or to projects associated to that group. The first figure represents how much storage was allocated, either down to subgroups or to projects created in those groups, out of the total available. The last number represents the total storage of this group. The total storage is the value configured when creating the group in the attribute called total quota for projects. These figures do not show how much of the group's storage has been used. Usage only makes sense in the context of an account or a group project. This filter can be amended to show allocated storage, available storage, and total storage. Any administrator can create groups. To create a new group, select the group that should be the parent of your new subgroup, go to the cogwheel and select Create Subgroup. The only attributes mandatory for a group are title and the quota, called Total Quota for Projects. The title must be unique in the institution and can contain special characters. The description is presented in the screen as a text area where an administrator can add up to 1,000 characters. This will be displayed on the portal when clicking on the Groups icon. The public URL will be pre-filled with the institution URL followed by the title of the group. If the title has more than one word, then the alias in the URL will contain an underscore. If the administrator chooses to make the group public, then the URL cannot be edited. Please note, the group will become public and will have a portal page only if this flag is set and there is public content to be displayed. To configure groups, use the cog wheel to the right of the group to access the configuration page. Here, administrators can configure the description. The public URL will be pre-filled with the institution URL and cannot be amended. To amend the URL for any subgroups, please submit a support ticket. Under storage settings, the administrator can divide the overall institution storage between users and projects, group projects only. We've chosen to use the term project instead of group because the storage is used only for uploading data into projects connected to groups. This means that even if quota is allocated to groups, it can only be used by the content uploaded in group projects. New storage distribution allows administrators to divide new additional storage added on top of existing storage you configured during implementation and will specify how the extra quota will be divided between users and projects. The new quota can be split evenly between the two entities, given only to projects or only to users. The initial quota per user setting is the value given to any user in the institution by default at account creation. If the user quota is handled via the HR feed, then this value will be disregarded. If the administrator modifies this value, the change will apply only to newly created users. Please note, if user quota management is handled via an HR feed, then disregard this setting. The initial quota per project parameter is an optional attribute that can be set at the creation of a subgroup or edited later. It represents the initial quota allocated to each project within this group. If this figure is modified at creation, then all projects associated to the group will have this quota by default. If this parameter is modified later in the configure group screen, then only new projects will be affected by this modification. Under administration, you can turn on the review process for items published within this group. 
More information on reviewing can be found in a separate video, linked in the description. Next, you'll see HR Feed Association criteria. This section is only applicable for institutions that are using an HR feed for creating accounts. At initial deployment, your institution will decide which column from the HR feed must be used as user association criteria. This column will be displayed on the page in the first text box. The administrator has the ability to input an alphanumeric value that will be sent via the feed for every user that needs to be associated here. Administrators can define the association criteria on every group, but they can also define it at the institution level for all groups. Next, you'll see an option for defining roles within this group. To assign a role to a user, search for the user and select the role to assign to them. Users can have multiple roles. You can remove roles by clicking the X next to the user's name. To add more users, select Add More. The last section on the group configuration page is the ability to add custom metadata fields. Custom metadata defined at the institution level will be applicable for all items, collections, and projects created within the institution context. This metadata will be inherited by all the subgroups and cannot be defined at the subgroup level. When defining custom metadata, administrators can select the correct label or field name to be displayed both privately and publicly. The label can have up to 100 characters. Select the context for this field, items, collections, and or projects. The admin can select any combination of these values. Select the type of metadata field you want to configure. Simple text field, text area, predefined drop-down menu, date selector, email address, or URL. Select help text to be displayed when filling out this field. Add placeholder text or default values based on selected field type. Configure validations depending on the type of field, like character limit. Choose if the custom metadata is optional or mandatory. You can duplicate or delete a metadata field by using the cog. If custom metadata fields are deleted, this will impact all users that have used the metadata field. Please be very careful when deleting defined metadata attributes. Public items with custom metadata will not have this custom metadata removed, but rather it will impact new items created moving forward and edits to public items. When you've finished, be sure to select Save Configuration before leaving this page. Returning to the administrative dashboard, we'll now go to the Users tab. From this page, you can see the names of all users within the system, the group structure they sit under, the number of individual projects they created, and the amount of storage allocated to their account. Users marked as inactive are displayed in lighter gray and italics. These are users your institution has deactivated via the HR feed or whatever system you're using for creating user accounts. In the storage column, the first piece of information is the quota they have already used by uploading files in my data or in individual projects. This segment represents usage, while the last value is the quota they have been allocated. That value is the same value the user will see in their my data. From this page, administrators can impersonate users to troubleshoot, upload on behalf of the user, or access private items, which is particularly useful if the user has left the institution. To impersonate a user, either active or inactive, find the user you want to impersonate, go to the cog to the right-hand side, and select Access this account. Please note, when you impersonate a user, admins are able to see confidential files. Therefore, if a file is highly confidential, we recommend uploading a metadata record only. For more on restricted items, please see our Knowledge Portal page on conditional items, linked in the description. While accessing the account, all the actions performed by the administrator are added to the audit log. The actions are set as performed by the administrator. For example, if the administrator modifies an item, the user will see on the edit item form that the item was last edited by that administrator. Once the administrator is finished impersonating the user, click on leave this account. Administrators can also run user reports on users across the whole organization or by groups. Select the users you need in the report 
and select Download User Report at the bottom of the page to download an Excel spreadsheet of the user report. For a full list of what's included in the user report, please see the link in the description. The final tab in the administrative dashboard is Unpublish. While we don't encourage unpublishing items that have been assigned DOIs, we understand this happens occasionally. Click on Unpublish and enter the item's DOI or ID. Include a reason why this item is being unpublished. Once unpublished, the DOI and URL for the item will direct to a tombstone page where we will display the reason why the item was unpublished. An unpublished item is returned to the user's My Data as a drafted item, allowing them to make changes if necessary and republish. Administrators can also approve, reject, or modify storage allocation requests. A user's quota can be updated in two ways, within the HR feed, if the institution is including a value there, or within the application, but only if the user requests it. Administrators cannot modify quota directly for a user. They can only approve or reject the user's request. To request more quota, the user needs to go to their My Data page and request more. The request will go only to the administrators of the group where the user is associated. This request will appear in the Activity tab. The administrator can approve, reject, or modify the value that was requested if the value is not appropriate. If the requester is an administrator of the group they are assigned to, the request is automatically approved. Project owners can request more group project storage allocation from the Project Edit page. To approve, the administrator should follow the same steps as for quota for individual items and individual projects.